what's up guys, it's your girl Lucky, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to put your personal vehicle inside of your special vehicle warehouse for uh, the money glitch that we have right now, and for money glitches that's to come. I like to cool my backdrop. Um, anyways, um, what you need for this glitch is you need to have a facility. Inside of your facility, you want the car that you're going to switch to your special vehicle warehouse in your facility. And you also need a bike inside of your facility. You need a special vehicle warehouse, of course. And you also need at least one special vehicle inside of that special vehicle warehouse. Um, so, yeah, let's get right into it. Okay, first thing you want to do is you want to make sure that you hit your PSN button if you're on PlayStation. Go to a recent activity where you can go start GTA Online. And then double tap your PSN button to come back to the game. Xbox you want to make sure that you go and start up in a different targeting mode and then come back to GTA Online. Now, once you've done that, what you want to do is become a motorcycle president and call for your uh, bike that you have inside of your facility and then go ahead and drive up to your little yellow circle to get into your facility and when it sucks you into it, when you see yourself start going on the landing pad, that's when you want to either join your friend in a different targeting mode or you want to double tap your PSN button to start up a recent activity and then go to that GTA, start GTA Online. Now we're going to wait right here on this screen until we stop hearing that little ee your facility in the background. I'll be quiet so you can listen. Okay, now when you hear it stop, you want to go ahead and hit circle to back out and then hit triangle to get off your bicycle. Now, when if you spawn back on the highway like me, be very careful because a lot of times these cars for some reason are going really fast. Um, but when you do, if you do get a car to stop, go ahead and steal a, a random street vehicle. Uh, when you pull the person out, more than likely they're going to disappear, and that means that it's working because you're glitched out. Uh, the next thing you want to do is go ahead, drive up to your facility. You want to make sure that you pull up your uh, interaction menu. You need to send your bicycle back to storage. So go ahead, call for it, and then send it back to storage. And uh, I'll do that here in just a second. Like right now. There we go. And then uh, once you send it back to storage, what you need to do... <laughs> Uh, you can still see me up there on it, it's funny. But it'll, it'll disappear from your map. That's pretty much the whole point of doing this part. And uh, return it back to storage. There it goes. Alright, now what you need to do is pull up, hold up your interaction thingy. Again, if you still see yourself on the bike, on your landing pad like I do, it's fine. Um, but hold up your interaction menu. It takes me a few tries to get this. Um, and as you're going off, at, at this facility I have to go really, really slow. Like almost to where I'm at a complete stop when I'm going off the facility. Um, it seems like each facility is different for some reason. I was in another facility and I was hitting it every single time. And I was going at like a medium, medium slow pace. But, um, okay, I'm going to go ahead and fast forward it to where I do actually get it. Okay, I'm going to, I slowed down this part so you can see it better where my wheels are when I go ahead and exit out of my interaction menu. Um, and then you just want to go ahead and accept that alert and you need to hurry up and drive away. If it does suck you into the facility, then you have to start it all over, which really sucks. Um, now for the next part, you want to, uh, you need to call a special vehicle, but you have to push it into the little yellow circle. Um, so when you call for it, make sure you're facing away from your facility, so that way it'll spawn behind you closer to your facility. It just makes life a whole, a whole hell of a lot easier. Okay, now the reason why we're pushing uh, the special vehicle into the little yellow circle instead of just driving it there is, is um, I, well I guess you could drive it there with your interaction when you pulled up, but you're pushing it there so that way you don't get sucked in obviously. So um, we're going to go ahead and let the vehicle spawn in, spawn in right behind us, right by the facility, so it's going to be pretty easy for us to push it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and fast forward it until we push it. You have to push it to where it's on top of the little yellow circle. Okay, 
Okay, now for this next part, all you want to do is you just need to go ahead and drive up to your facility, and it should suck you right in. You shouldn't get the facility full sign or anything. It should just suck you and the vehicle right on in. Okay, it's going to ask you if you want to uh, switch out a vehicle, replace it, just hit no on the first alert and then accept the second alert and then you need to go ahead and head on out. Now when you're heading on out and you see your little dude start going up, you need to start spamming triangles so that way you get into your special vehicle that's right outside the facility. So right now you need to be spamming triangle and as soon as you see yourself, you'll see yourself start walking towards your special vehicle that's standing right outside your facility. Um, go ahead and stop spamming triangle when you see yourself moving towards your vehicle. Wait until you hear him start up the vehicle, and then you want to go ahead and accept this alert, then drive on top of your facility, and then the vehicle is going to disappear. Or get off, I'm sorry, drive on top of your facility, get off, and then your vehicle is going to disappear, and then you want to walk back into your facility. Okay, now once you are loaded back in, it's going to ask you to switch out a vehicle. You want to pick whatever car you're sending to your special vehicle warehouse, and I, which I'm using my LG Retro Custom. You want to pick that one, and it's going to get sent back to your special vehicle warehouse. I will show you that, as you can see, the, my Blades Aqua is now inside of my facility. And uh, when we go on back outside, I'll show you when you call for your Blaze Aqua from your interaction menu under Special Vehicles, you're actually going to get your LG Retro Custom. For some reason I thought that I had to fly to the special vehicle warehouse to show you guys that my LG Retro Custom was in it, but I don't. <laughs> so um, that's why I called up the helicopter, but I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to quit my CEO, and for some reason I think that I have to start up my motorcycle club to call for the Blaze Aqua, but once again, I don't. <laughs> so um, I'm finally going to get it right, and uh, I'm just going to go down the vehicle, call up my special vehicle as you can see right here, I'm doing it now and I'm going to call up the Blaze Aqua. At least that's what it says it is. But when it finally shows up, it's going to be the LG Retro Custom, as you will see in just a moment. As you can tell, it went ahead and spawned my LG Retro Custom. On the map, there is a car icon instead of the Blaze Aqua icon. Um, all you have to do is go ahead, return the vehicle to storage, and it will go right back into your special vehicle warehouse. Um, now, this video has helped you out in any way. Please smash that thumbs up button, and as always, subscribe if you're new. Peace out.